Mr. Miller and I always had a game. Once I had, had Kelly Miller and I took it out, I would we would never talk about where we're going or when we're opening. We played a little game, and so we would set our opening day and where we were going to open. And after it was written in stone and printed and contracts were signed, and then we became aware of it. And so it was kind of a little game we played with each other. Uh, I knew where he was going to go. Uh, and I, I knew where I wanted to go. And he knew that too. Uh, he, he, he didn't agree with me. I mean, he didn't want to be where I wanted to be. I want to be in small town USA, small town America. However, I wanted to show that I could also play Chicago or Washington DC, the suburbs around Maryland, uh, Kansas City, St. Louis. And I could do that. I didn't enjoy doing that. I did it and did, had great success and great business. So that, we played Chicago for 21 days in the fall of the year. Every year I developed 21 days of route in Chicago in the suburbs. Uh, I did it very successfully. Uh, uh, very lucrative and financially beneficial for the show. However, I didn't enjoy it. Uh, it was something I did because it was business. And you had to do it. But I enjoyed playing small town America. I enjoyed playing the town where they're glad to have you. It, it's a, you're, you're, great diversion from everyday life and uh, it, it was fun to be there and that was my that was the thing I liked to go to little towns in upstate New York and upstate Michigan and, and, and play towns that, that were smaller and, and just a, people were more friendly and open and, and, and tickled to see you and you had a good time and you became you got to know them uh, that was, city people are much, much different. Uh, not, not bad. Their lives are so busy and so that they just don't even think the same way as rural people. Uh, I, I like to call it the, the uh, growing up on concrete aspect. Uh, if you, if you grow up in a city, you tend to always be on concrete. Always, everything you want is around you. Uh, all the entertainment you want is around you. You just pick and choose and do what you, you know, do whatever you, your heart desires. People, rural people, tend to be much easier to visit with, talk to, entertain. They're used to entertain themselves. They don't have all the entertainment. It's a big trip to go to the city to see a basketball game or a football game. Uh, but if you grow up in Norman, Oklahoma or Stillwater, you can see them anytime you want. Uh, it's a whole different ballgame. So I, I had uh, much more of an affinity with rural people in the small town America. And so that's where I like to be. And uh, his show was larger and had to be in bigger towns anyway. Did you so, cross paths too many times than when you were out? No, uh, we did cross paths and all shows are going to. There are what we call crossroad states. Uh, Ohio's a crossroad state. If you're going to go to the east and come back to the to the west or vice versa, you're going to cross Ohio if you're in the north in the summertime. Uh, you're not going to dip all the way down into uh, Kentucky and Tennessee and go around to get to Maryland or get to Pennsylvania. You're going to go across. So that's a crossroad state. Uh, Indiana is a crossroad state. You're going to cross paths with other shows. Uh, but it tends to be quick. You tend Usually you're going opposite directions. And so you might be close to one another for a day, but that's it. Uh, and that's part of the business. And that happens not only with shows out of Hugo, but it happens with shows all over the country. I, you asked me earlier about uh, Midwest shows in the, in the early days, and I learned at an early age, I, I said, why did we do what we do? We go south real quick into Texas, and then we turn around and we just go like crazy back all the way to the Canadian border. And uh, when I was a kid, and it didn't dawn on me there was a method to this madness. Uh, we would uh, open up in the spring of the year and go south into Texas and you'd follow the wheat harvest. The wheat harvest would start down here and graduate north all the way to the Canadian border. And uh, after that, it was time for the corn harvest. And so you would turn around and follow the corn harvest back. And then when you got down in this part of the country, you had the cotton crop, or if you went over to Louisiana, you had the cane season, where they cut cane. And, uh, the reason for the shows following the crops is because that's when people had money in their pocket. That's when they had the ability to go to a circus or, or have a good time. Uh, so that was how the routes developed. Uh, 
things changed dramatically as, as farming and, and agriculture changed. Uh, no longer do you have, uh, they don't tossle corn anymore. Uh, they have machines that do it. No longer are there a lot of people employed. They don't pick cotton anywhere anymore. Uh, and there are no cotton gins. And that's where the circus used to play, actually on the gin lot. Because it was usually cotton's grown in uh, black dirt country. And so in the wet season, it's uh, pretty muddy. Uh, they always had a gin lot that had been filled with gravel or shell. And, and you could put the wagons, you know, all our cotton wagons down to the gin lot waiting to be gin. And it made a great place for the circus to show because it was a large lot and it would accommodate all the trucks and the tents and everything. And it wouldn't be muddy. So I played a lot of gin lots when I was a kid. But they don't even exist anymore. You can't find a gin lot. You can't find a cotton gin anymore. <laughs> but that was uh, part of the, the thing I learned about the routing. Is, is there's a reason for being where you, where you want to be. Tourist season looks like Michigan, upstate Michigan. You don't want to get there too early. You have to wait till tourist season. Because all those towns are waiting for the same thing you are, the tourists to come. When the tourists come, they got dollars in their pockets. And they have the opportunity, not only they, but the tourists themselves, uh, have, they're looking for something to do when they tend to be on vacation and, and acting as tourists, and they're looking for things to do. So circus is a great entertainment for them, and it's available.